Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today I want to show you how to enable digital signage on your WebEx devices, your WebEx boards, your room systems, and so on. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this from the Control Hub, which is probably the easiest way, uh, and how to actually go and configure this on the endpoint itself as well. So if you're new here, hit subscribe. Otherwise, let's dive in and check it out firsthand. So first things first, the way that the signage mode works is it essentially is just a web page and the web page is interactive based on clicks. Likewise, signage mode can be interactive based on where users tap the screen. Here you see the Tech Catalyst uh, YouTube channel loaded up. Uh, as, we, as you know, you can come in, click the play button, you can click videos, you can reload the page and so forth. Let's actually make this YouTube channel our signage. At this point, I'll assume you're familiar with the Control Hub. If not, check out some of my other videos. Uh, but with that being said, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to select a device, uh, in this case, our WebEx board, open up its settings by clicking. You'll see a, uh, you know, the standard information. You'll see that my unit in particular has some problems. And you'll scroll down, see the IP address, MAC address, SIP URI, serial number, and so forth. Underneath of that, there is a device settings option and coincidentally, digital signage is there. So go ahead and give that a click. Uh, from here, it's pretty straightforward. You can make your signage interactive, i.e. you can tap the screen and click and advance through different pages. You can also, uh, you're gonna wanna actually go ahead and enable digital signage. And from there, it's just a matter of putting in that uh, URL. So I'm going to do, uh, do that right now, youtube.com slash See, and we're going to use that Tech Catalyst um, YouTube channel. When you're done, hit save, and the settings should be reflected on your endpoint. If you want to configure signage mode either manually on the endpoint itself, or if you're configuring an endpoint that is either uh, premise registered or standalone, you have to do so from the web interface of the actual endpoint. What you want to do is go to the Setup, Configuration, Menu, uh, you'll want to go the whole way to the bottom. There's an, an option that's called Web Engine. Uh, essentially, this is the browser in the endpoint that is used for signage mode. You want to ensure that mode is enabled as on. Uh, you also then need to go to Standby and configure a few settings there. You'll notice a signage option. There is an audio on or off. This is for the audio, so in the case of the YouTube channel, there's audio that comes through. You can actually have that either silent or have it enabled. Interactive mode, which you're familiar with. Uh, the mode in general, on or off. And uh, then the, the URL. So this unit was enabled from the control hub. So you see the URL is already keyed in there. Uh, again, you can enter that manually here if you're provisioning a unit for the first time. When you're done, if you've made any changes, hit save and the settings will be committed. Once your WebEx board goes into standby mode, it will actually display the signage. Here you can see the Tech Catalyst YouTube channel, uh, and I had it in interactive mode, so we can choose videos, and we can navigate through the page and actually decide if we want to uh, watch a different video. Typically, you would build a custom application that's more signage friendly, the lettering is a little bit bigger, so on and so forth, AppSpace actually has a very nice application for this. We might have a video on that coming in the near future. Uh, but that's really it. It's extremely simple, but it takes that investment you already have in Cisco endpoints and adds additional value to them uh, while getting the message out inside of your organization. Hopefully that gets you off to the races with digital signage on your video endpoints. Uh, let me know in the comments section some other tips or tricks or different ways that you've used digital signage in your organization. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you back sometime soon.